Hi guys, it's 17th of May and I'm gonna tell you what I have been up to this week. So uh, this week I have been trying to make fabric out of another material that has been in my bin quite a lot these days. Um, so it's banana or banana peel. And although I appreciate the amazing natural packaging that bananas have, um, I also have been always wondering if, you know, like these kind of bits, these kind of strings that normally you see when eating a banana, can I actually make a yarn? I started by following the traditional steps of yarn making. The way how linen or hemp is actually made. It starts with wetting the fiber. One way to do is by putting the plant in water and waiting for microbes to start to break down. So if it's time dried, the process would help to break down all the plant bit, leaving the fibers alone. But it didn't work like that with banana peels. When they dried out, both the fiber and peel became very fragile and just break. Um, the only part of the peel that this method actually worked was the very top of the peel, probably because it's more like wood. I actually managed to separate the fibrous bits and by using various breaking methods I could start to see the fibers themselves. It's very tiring to do it by hand, so I tried a few methods and even went for a run with it. With my homemade carding brushes I tried to make the fibers even more finer, but I would still need to work on that. It's still very short and rough and would be hard to spin into yarn, but maybe it's possible to find a way to do it. I also tried more untraditional ways of making fabric, like using different ways of drying separate parts of the peel, bioplastic recipes, baking and ironing, um, but I'm not gonna going to bore you with that. One of the combinations that did look helpful was um, the peel was soaked, then the fruity bit scraped, and the peel was left to dry already separated in strings. And when the strings were dry, they were put in water again, but only for a short time, then surprisingly they actually became flexible and soft and actually fairly easy to work. I could tie them together or using the whole method, I have no idea what's the real name for that. And when it was still damp, I could knit it. It made really nice soft fabric, but as you can see once it dried, it lost the flexibility and became brittle again. Uh, I'm thinking of trying to soak it in glycerol to maybe make it to keep the moisture in various stages. So that was the most promising part so far. 